in studio that we start asking all of our show questions and we're all going, stop, 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 wait till we get on the show. <laughs> Toxie, why don't you uh, explain, introduce our guest and uh, our friend, when, how Wendy notified us. All right, well, yeah, we were contacted um, by Wendy, a friend of the show, regarding, is, is, it's Eva Lynn, correct, or Ava? Ava. Ava. And I always say things wrong, so feel free to correct me again. <laughs> Eva or Ava, um, it doesn't really matter. But Ava is actually on uh, multiple sites right now. You're promoting your own site. There's one where you can win a date with you mm -hmm. in Miami. Um, and another hey, site as well, and you wanted to come on, kind of talk about those. And also, Ava, if you guys don't know, was the 2014 AVN TS winner. Really? Performer awesome. of the year. That's day. awesome. Well, God, look at her. She's like drop dead, freaking gorgeous. I can't Can believe I you have a, a date penis. With you in Miami? <laughs> male or female? <laughs> well, yeah, it, it's. Basically males or females. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So she basically told me, no, you can't win a date with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broken hearted, Eva. <laughs> Are you from here in Vegas? I just recently moved here in January from you, Los Angeles. How are you liking it out here? I love it here. What's your I favorite part? It. I live in Summerlin, so oh, I have my own good... little world there. Yeah. Yeah. It'll get even better when those shops open. The whole like Summerlin city center type deal. Oh, they're they're building a really big mall. Yes, yeah. exactly. So it's supposed to have, um, I mean, just everything. So then you'll never That's have exciting. to leave. <laughs> you never have to leave Summerlin. Where was home? Where did you grow up? I grew up, well, I was born in the Philippines and I came here to the U.S. when I was nine years old. Um, I was raised by my grandparents in the Bay Area, okay. Northern California. And I moved to Los Angeles um, three years ago, and then I just moved here to, to Vegas. Vegas. What made you leave Los Angeles, come to Vegas? Is it a better situation for the adult industry here? I mean, because I know, like, with the big girl world, the porn world, a lot of the girls have moved here recently um, in the porn world. So is it the same thing in the TS world? Um, it happened really quickly, actually. Um, mm -hmm. I was just like, I think I want to buy property, and I you know, Googled online and I was like, oh, Vegas is like the best place That's to buy true, property right the, now. The uh, foreclosures, right? Yeah. yeah. And so um, I just drove out here and looked at some property and then that was it. Good for you. It was like, it was really quick. Right. <laughs> Within a matter like, of a week, a I was like, oh my girls, God, I'm moving to Vegas. Yeah, there's a lot of girls, TS girls in the business that live out here. So we probably found, found the community easy, right? Yeah. You know? Are those your real collarbones? Because those are gorgeous. Yes. I could drink a cup of milk out of that. Pie. I know. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> like, can God. you get fake <laughs> collarbones? You can. Get there's fake like anything. You can fake anything. Yeah, you can get collarbone implants. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, really? Like, what are they made out of? The same thing like cap implants that's that just plastic. silicone yeah, plastic, plastic stuff, stuff yeah mm -hmm. do you work out eva because you do. i do yeah, uh, i'm tell. like addicted to the gym oh well you're in the wrong room girl <laughs> <laughs> actually you had a picture. To the buffet, okay? <laughs> i think you had a picture on one of your it might be your facebook of you in the gym working out and you did a little gym selfie yeah. <laughs> actually now, i work out oh that's days. true you do that's work true. out you have a personal look at, trainer look at this. i work yeah. out when yeah. i walk that's in the spa Nice. Okay, all right. And we did say your boobs look bigger. I walked up here without using the elevator. I have worked out. I for do too. That's <laughs> too. I walk up without using the elevator. Now, so when okay, you go ahead, when you go to the gym, you use the girls' changing the girls room, restroom. I was talking to my psychologist about this, and I was like, because eventually I do want to get my SRS, you know, the full change. Oh, okay. So, yeah, a lot and of girls of don't, Of course, but you I can't want walk to. around like most of the women in the gym, you know, right. without their towels, and they just, like, like to flaunt their vagina, you know? <laughs> make you jealous. I have to be, like, you know, feeling insecure, but I was talking to my psychotherapist, and I said, you know, I really want to, like, get a vagina just so I can walk around and <laughs> flaunt my vagina. You have vagina envy. <laughs> yeah. But let me ask you, because you're in the porn world, um, do you think that'll change your career or will you do it when you're ready to get out of the career? Because isn't that the, like the, the, you know, the draw to you is the fact that you're transgender at yeah, this point? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm not quite sure. No, I may no. just... You know, do it and it. see what yeah. happens, huh? Do it yeah. and see what happens. I gotcha. 
just oh, another hole. <laughs> so let's go back to the question we were talking about, the term tranny. You're good with the term. Some You said some girls are not good with the term? Yeah, some girls can be really, it's such a sensitive subject for a lot of women in my community. It's like the word fat in our women, community. Yeah. And I um, say fat every day. <laughs> but, you know, it's like when you, when you, when people put power or give the power to the word, right. then it becomes, you know, it becomes more powerful, just like the N word or yeah. um, the F word. So is there a difference? And we've asked several of the, the TS girls we've had in here, the difference between transsexual and transgender, or is it the same? Is that term interchangeable or is there a difference? Um, it's, well, transgender is the umbrella word okay. for different categories that fall under it. Like trans, transsexual falls under transgender or um, um, like cross-dresser. Oh, okay. Okay. You so know, that's so, trans, or, transgender is the, the, the whole term. Gender non-conformant. And transsexual is... Somebody who wants to actually be the other sex or, or yes. desires. Okay. So somebody who's just a cross-dresser but doesn't care anything about ch living as the other sex would still be under transgender. Yes. Oh, okay. That is the best definition we have heard, Eva, since anybody would come in here because I've never really had it clear in my head. So, all right. I, I like to get down and dirty because I, I'm all about the backstory. Can you tell us, like, what it was like growing up and when did you finally say, look, I'm in the wrong body. I, I'm really a woman. Like, how did all of that come to light for you um well growing up you know i'm filipino so i come from a very conservative family growing up catholic right and, yeah um i didn't grow up with a father figure so it was always my uncles that were around and they would always tell me like stop acting like a girl when i was oh, little that was yeah. my so most... feminine as a child yeah. yeah i was very feminine but i wasn't aware of it you know, I just acted the part and, you know, I would scream like a girl oh, Yeah. and they would be like, stop screaming like a girl. You're not a girl. And I was just like, you look just at them you. and I'm confused. Right. Yeah. So as I went through a lot of bullying in elementary school and high school because, you know, I'm naturally feminine and I'm fair skinned and mm -hmm. I have feminine features. And her lips. Have you had those, Are those lips? real? Um, wanna... My lips are real, but I did get Juvederm, hmm. but I got them two years ago, so oh I don't know God. if they've subsided. I or... just keep but I know I had lips. duck like lips so when I first got them done. Your lips are beautiful. Like yeah, I had okay. duck lips when I first got them done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, it's, I mean, it was hard, but I did live my life as um, someone who identified as gay. Is my sexual preference. Is that preference. because you didn't know? Like, some of the girls have said, like, I didn't know there was a thing as transgender or transsexual, so I just thought I was gay. Is that yeah. how it went for you? So you're like, That's how it this went is how me. I'm supposed to be, even though you didn't quite feel right yet. Well, in high school, I was I noticed myself being attracted to men, and I did have a girlfriend, and I was kind of forced into the relationship by, like, friends and stuff. Right. And um, and I wasn't attracted to her. I remember performing oral sex on her, but I didn't want her to touch me down there because I was afraid that I wasn't going to, to perform. Perform, you know, that she wasn't going to turn me on. So, right. um, so I knew something was up. And then I had a best friend who I had like an attraction to for some reason, and I just was every time I was around him, I would get aroused. You know, and I was like 15 years old. Oh, yeah. That's so when I was the like hormones really start confused. raging right at that point. And so that's when I finally thought, you know what? I think I might be gay, but I was so scared to admit it to anyone. And, um, and you were here in high school at that time. Right? I was in the Philippines. Oh, okay. Because I was sent back by my grandparents. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that had... I, somehow, and tell me if this is wrong, I would feel it would be easier coming out in San Francisco than it would be in the Philippines. Um. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. Well... Probably not because my grandparents were like really conservative. Oh, I got you. Okay, yeah. they were living in the states. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So when I was in the Philippines, um, that's I didn't come out, but I just kind of I felt it. Right. You no. Know, so I came back here after when I was fifteen. I came back here when I was sixteen, and I had met someone who had a bisexual cousin, and he was like a lot older than me. He was like nineteen. And we met up and we just kind of fooled around and we got into a relationship. Did anyone you... know or did you guys keep it on the down low? Oh, I 
I let my family know. Oh. And so they sent me back to the Philippines again. Because <laughs> my mom Bad was at the Philippines. Go the We're going to Asia the fucking day out yeah, of you. Get out of here. in the Philippines at that time. So my grandparents were just like, if they can't deal with me and they can't handle me, then they just send me right back to the Philippines, wow. back to my mom. Wow. Then for yeah. Sure, yeah, that had to have been very hard. But so. finding out I was transgender didn't come until I was 19. Um, when I was sent back to the Philippines, um, I met a transsexual over there who, I she used to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. And I remember just one day she just told me, she was like, you know what, you're really pretty. And I looked at her and I was like, oh my God, I've never heard that before. Right, <laughs> like, there right, was like this thing, boy, right? there was yeah. like this bulb that just like sparked that. And, um, and I was like, really, you think that? And she was like, yeah, you know, you should start taking hormones. And that's how I started. She Did you, just that, prior me... to that, feel like you were, you really should have been a woman? No. Or that's just a, She just wow. put the idea in my head and I was like, oh my God, she's right. Oh, well, that's very yeah. interesting. The, so did, how long after that did you start taking hormones? Um, so I just started taking them because she had them. Oh, so she my gave God. them to me <laughs> and she just had them in her purse. And she's like, here, tell me how it, you know, because they were, you can get them over the counter in the Philippines. Oh, wow. And, um, and she told me all the hormones that I, you know, could take and all that stuff. So all the regimen and I just started taking them and... At first, I was, you know, very sheltered about it, and right. I never let anybody know until people started noticing that I was becoming more and more feminine, right. having more feminine features. Like, my skin was glowing, you know, it's it's like, basically like a teenage girl. Right, and then, like, your hips, on your hips shape differently after mm -hmm. the hormones. Well, the and... first was my, my nipples started getting swollen. Uh-huh. Like, I was developing... Boobs. Boobs. Was that a rush for you or was it scary or both? It was both. Okay. It yeah. was both. I was, I mean, there was, you know, that, that girl that I met, her name's Amanda and she was very supportive of me. So I wasn't afraid because I was always with her and she, she was like a bigger sister yeah, and she had friends and I was hanging out with her friends. So it was like, we had a little community, but wow. then when I would go back home to my mom, after hanging out with her, I had to like hide it from my my mom and my family. So I was like, I was living double two lives. double yeah. lives. I'm assuming your family knows now, since you live yeah. every day as a woman. How did they accept that? Huh? At first, they didn't accept it, um, but you know, after a while, it's I'm very independent, and I just kind of did my own thing, and you know, and they missed me, and so you know, eventually they. Had, they just had to for accept your parents me. or your brothers, or do you have, I have sisters? Too? I have an older sister and a younger brother, and my sister is she's very accepting. We're very okay. close, so it wasn't hard for her. Oh, it's like, come on, sister, let's go shopping. Yeah, right? she's like, let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually more excited than me. <laughs> <That's rough. laughs> um, so, but with my mom, it was you know tough because. It, was it like it, a religious thing, a lot of it? No, it was more, my mom was very afraid for me because she knew how people would treat me and how people would look at me. Right, right. So right. she, it was more of a protective mechanism. And that's fair mother. enough. Yeah, yeah, as a mother, that you would feel that way. That's the first time I think uh, I heard that from the guest that we had. What, that, that the mother it was, was more, fear, yeah, fear more of a that? fear instead of, um, you know, Shame. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. Shame. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't really think it's it's really shame. I think it's it all draws from fear. fear because, you know, I mean, every parent loves their child. And when they see their child like. Right. Wait, struggling because struggling yeah, exactly. or, you know, um, experiencing hatred or discrimination. It's got to be painful. Yeah. It's not good. Did you have your Adam's apple removed? 
No, you just I never, never had one. I never had one. That's nice. Because <laughs> a lot of them have them crushed, and I just, you know, I wanted to ask what it felt like. Wait, how not. do you have it crushed? They crush your Adam's apple, and then you're... They shave it. They shave it. Tracheal they... shave, I think Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's what Bruce Jenner's having done. He's having his Adam's apple shaved. Well, and a I lot... just didn't know what that meant. Well, men, <laughs> men, Bruce men have, Jenner. A lot of men have. Why would Bruce Jenner? I know. Is he I'm like, like we? Wait, 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 wait. He's had a lot of plastic <laughs> surgery. There's something we don't well, know. That's what, they, that's what they were, I think, implying in one of the, you know, one of the. Uh, magazines or whatever the sites i read i mean it was a few weeks ago but that's that he's been having the, it shaved well that's one of the main things that a ts I, I girl can get called out on if she has that adam's apple because women don't have that naturally how, how do you crush no that's not true i've met okay, some so women who have it i'm just really? gonna, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. be blunt and ask um what work have had have you had done i've had I my should... forehead shaved that's about it to make it smaller and my boobs so I that's like they call because, that feminine um well because men have more of a prominent oh, brow bone okay. that sticks out here so I had my doctor make it more round and that's it I mean that nose is yours I don't those, even think it look at how beautiful because I'm like I look at myself. Just so... You're so like fascinated. We're, we're all like, <laughs> no, we just want to come touch you all over. Is that okay? I, I want to kiss her lips. I mean, I'm just too I know to make out. I don't know. Wait, just wait, <laughs> wait, wait until you go on and see some of her work. Then you'll be I asking to touch a little more than her face. Can you stand up for a second? Oh, look at talk. Like lips. Well, yeah, she's got the thigh gap that all the girls want. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's like Linda Carter used to have in Wonder Woman, the little thigh oh, gap yeah. there. I'm just like... She's gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> no one ever mistakes you for a man anymore, ever, right? Um, I, I still have that insecurity. Really? I think everybody... Let me ask you this. On your ID, is it female or male? It's female. Okay. And, okay, we've talked about this with other people. Did you have a doctor say that, or did you just go in the DMV and change it yourself? My doctor wrote a letter for me. Oh, okay. okay. Saying that I... Um, living like, as a woman. Living as a woman, completed, you know, hormone therapy, and, um, and my identity should reflect what's on paper That's in order for me to live a better life was that changed here or in la it was changed in san francisco, in san francisco. but i was um actually i was getting my passport because i'm naturalized as a u.s citizen right so i Whoa. was getting my u.s passport and they wouldn't change it and i was like don't you understand that this if you change it to female like it would make my life so much more easier right and they changed it Good for you. It was just wow. like that. I just kind of talked to them and I was like, you know, I was, I guess I was tearing up and I was like, you don't even know what I have to go through, you know, every day right. because that, that one letter, you know, and, and they were just like, okay. Well, don't you remember Tyra saying like, she was so afraid to go to the DMV to have her license changed because it said female and she had to have it changed from one state. She was so afraid, like the fear of somebody calling her out right there, even though yeah. it was on her life. You're not really a girl. You have a penis. Yeah, but I think it's more of an acceptance, you know, because I've learned to accept myself as a transgender woman, mm -hmm. a transsexual, mm -hmm. and I'm not a regular woman. I'm, right. I have a penis. Even if I do get an SRS, I'm still going to be a transsexual. There's no ovaries in there, you know? Right. So, but I I, was I am a transsexual that. woman, you know? So, and even so when after people... you've had the surgery, uh, if you have the bottom surgery, you still consider yourself trans transsexual? Or, like, I'm just a I, woman, I'm, I'm not transsexual? I'm transsexual. Okay, I'm a tra transsexual post-op. I'm a post-op transsexual woman. Okay. And, um, you know, when people do, I mean, I haven't changed my name. I still have my birth name. Okay. So, and that's something that I just chose not to change. And, um, is it pretty, uh, gender, neut gender neutral or is it like no, Bob? It's actually from the Bible. It's a, um, a biblical name? A biblical name. A male <laughs> biblical name. That's gotta confuse people when you meet them name. in the but regular way. I do. Wife. I kind of like the shock value. Because <laughs> <laughs> I go to the airport. Hi, my, my name's ID Ezekiel. Says female. <laughs> Ezekiel. <laughs> my ID says female. And then they look at my ID and they're like, I've never heard a girl named like that before. Have you had anyone <laughs> just come out and ask you? Just so that they make sure that, like... No. No? 
What, uh, yeah, would you ever? They I just would, assume uh, her parents hated her. That's all. That's all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you know, it's so the... funny you said that because I was in the Vegas airport recently mm-hmm. on my way to Miami and I was ordering a sandwich. And the lady was like, wait, this is not yours. She looked at my credit card and she's like, this is not your credit card. It's like, let me see your ID. And then I showed her my ID and they're like, wait, why is your name? And she was like, name. that she doesn't was make any sense. Like it never, like, and I said, my her. parents are from San Francisco. They're actually like, you know, hippies. Oh, good answer. <laughs> she was oh, like, nice. well, your parents must have hated you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny that you said that. I would be like, listen, bitch, just give me my sandwich, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and she said it when there was a line, too. Yeah, and she was like, I'm really? Right. It was okay, just so a weird just so situation. I understand this, because I am blonde. So your, <clears> even your, like, your credit cards and stuff have your birth. The birth name. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if, it, so if her name, if she was given the birth Robert Roberts, that's what the girl would be going, you can't and be that's Robert. And that's what your ID, <laughs> that's what your your driver's license says too, but then it says female. But does yeah. the, okay. and the picture sure is female. The picture is female. It's just the right. name. They, you know what? Right. The hippie is a good, good comeback. I, I think you should stick with that story. My, my parents, parents were like, really you know, high. Well, at least they were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> From Berkeley. <laughs> That's now, funny. is the um, it, is the adult industry your main career, or do you have something else that it's that you my do? main career right now? now how long have you been in the adult industry? Three years. Really? Okay, that so soon? I, yeah. That, I mean, that's not a long, long time in in the yeah. industry, and you've oh, already done great. You're things. very young, actually. I think I read. Am I right? She's sweet sixteen, but don't tell nobody. <laughs> no, I, I when you start, you started at twenty one. Okay. Right, so I was going to ask about. Well, your you're just barely old enough to rent a car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're barely old enough. Well, that means she's got a long <laughs> career yeah. ahead of her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's to rent a car to, to, uh, like to get good cars, insurance like... rates, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, tell us about your. You've started two new sites or two new projects. What's going on? Right. You, you belong to. It's it. It's Trans Five Hundred. Trans Five Hundred is my studio. Okay. Um, that I'm contracted with. And they're doing a TS Dream Date going on in June where guys can sign up on tsdreamdates.com and they can basically, I can pick whoever's the winner. And well, you get to choose the one that you want I get to, to choose. They just with. give me a list and, like, and the with profiles. pictures? With pictures? I think so. I'm oh, sure. boy. I think but it might have been. She looked at me and said, no, her. you can't win a date with when me. I read it, <laughs> when I read it, I think it might have said about a picture. I think yeah. uh, as part of the world. That's very cool that so, you get to pick. So, like, if it's a lousy date, it's your fault. <laughs> so, are you in a relationship with anyone right now? No. No? I haven't been in a relationship in uh, two years. And is that by choice that you're not in a relationship? Um, It's just really hard. It's hard for one that I'm a transsexual, and mm-hmm. it's two. It's because I'm in porn. In the industry, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, it's like, first of all, when I tell guys that I'm transgender or transsexual, automatically it's like I just want to suck some dick. You know, that's what they're thinking. Right. I don't know if I can. I'm allowed to say you yeah, can, you're oh, like yeah. We're internet radio. Oh, just so to can... clarify, you can say anything, anything. you want. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is internet, internet radio. radio program. Program. Whatever the <laughs> fuck you want. Yeah. No holds barred. Whatever the fuck so, you, you know, want. Because none yeah, of us could do a, a show that we couldn't cuss on, so. <laughs> automatically, guys just think I'm like some guy that just like dresses up as a woman and I'm like uh-huh. hypersexual and I just want to like Why? blow them or have sex right why is it that men think that anything is that's a little different they automatically put the hypersexual thing on because that's own. how men think they think with their little penis that's true <laughs> they kind of do yeah. and your hormones keep you from doing that though yeah. right <laughs> you, are you on female hormones currently now now does that affect your your ability to perform in porn or your ability to get hard or ejaculate Sometimes. The hormones, the sometimes. How yeah. do you overcome that? Do you use like Viagra, Cialis? Have you tried any of those? Just um, I curious. have, but then like ever since I started really going to the gym and working out and spending like you know significant time at the sauna, like I guess it you know generates Stim- circulation. Oh, okay. Circulation in my okay. body, so it's like and the exercise releases it, the your free range hormone, your free range testosterone. The more you exercise, oh, yeah. the more testosterone your body produces. Oh, so as long as you keep exercising. Oh my god, it's so funny you said that because I was just talking to a to a girlfriend about that. I'm like, 
God, I've been feeling really horny lately. <laughs> like at the gym today, I was standing next to a guy and then all of a sudden I started getting aroused. <laughs> Like I don't have my notebook with me. This isn't gonna work. But then I don't ever hide it when I'm at the gym. I just let it hang. Oh wow. Okay. Do people really? ever say anything to you, or have you had anyone no, approach you? No, I have. I have guys who like stare at it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, because at first they're like, "Damn, look at that hot Asian girl," and they're like, "Holy shit, she's got a penis!" <laughs> Damn it! And, yeah, and I bet more. <laughs> or men hey, know, let's go on. Uh, let's yeah. go say hi. Yeah. I think so too. Exactly. I th yeah, I think more men. Because I have guys who would it. stare at me, but they would never say hi. You know. Because I think Which a lot is... of men, and a lot, you know, a lot of women, but a lot of men are. I don't. I don't even want to call them bi curious, but I think they wonder what it's like to suck a dick, because they know what it feels like for them, and I think that it when she's beautiful and she looks like a woman, then it kind of makes it a little more acceptable. Yeah. You know, so I think more men yeah. than we know would like to go there. Now, would you, yeah. would you require that he pitch as well as catch or catch as well as pitch or do you care? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm like a roller coaster. Like I, my mood's just up and down. Sometimes I want to like totally top a guy, uh -huh. you know, and just dominate him and like treat him like and a little bitch. And you film both ways. When you, when you film, you do it. I just like to say my nipples are hard right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> but there are times when I just, you know, want a guy to totally take over and take control. So. That's, so you film both ways. Yeah, lately I've been feeling like that. I don't know if it's been over exercising like what you said and my horny, testosterone and just like, stuff, and you're like i'm gonna put it in you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's awesome i want oh, a penis so bad Michelle, she wants a penis i do Can want a penis i would love to have a, a penis i don't want to lose my vagina i just also want a penis well, then you need to look at chance armstrong's pictures like close up because but i still want to look like a girl he, he looks, took testosterone to get i know that way. but i think he, he looks like your girl. best of both worlds but you could always have a strap on but no with but, a vibrator yeah that, that's, but it's not same. the same no because you can't you don't know what it feels like to be in there all cozy no warm. I, yeah that's what oh, i want to know it's cozy warm, warm. warm. yeah i'll cut it up in cozy i mean you got to figure out like us our sec you know like we're not putting nothing into something no that's and weird. my clit's tiny so I have a nice, you know, I, mean, I have a fat cute. pussy, but a tiny clit. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. But all I know, it's 830 and we're getting ready to take yeah. our little bit longer break. Eva, you're a great sport. You're staying around for a little bit so we yeah. can talk some more. Awesome. We'll be back. If you have any questions in chat for our guests, please send them over. And uh, we will be right back with the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. This is Sierra of the curvaceous bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com. And I would like to take a moment to talk about something serious. I'd like to talk about balls. Every Sunday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you can listen to me and my co-hosts talk about balls. You can listen to us on VegasAllNetRadio.com or you can watch us at SinCityBounty.com. We'll talk about balls every Sunday from 7 to 10 p.m. And don't forget, balls. Hi, this is Joseph Peroni, author of the book From Grief to Relief. Listen to my show every Thursday at 2 p.m. on VegasAllNetRadio.com. This show is dedicated to those who have loved and lost and have found or are searching for the personal power and courage to love again. Join me, Joseph Peroni, every Thursday at 2 p.m. on VegasAllNetRadio.com. Heard online all over the world. Listen to the From Grief to Relief radio show every Thursday at 2 p.m. This is Alexia from the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City Radio Show. Join myself and the ladies every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern for real talk about real stories with real people. That's Sundays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on your computers at VegasAllNetRadio.com because they won't let us on regular radio. Hello, hi, and how 
are you? I'm Bruce Riddell, the raging, ravishing, wayward wonder of the world. Join me on Hump Day for the middle of the week bump and grind with my trivial mind. Spend an hour with my voice as I talk hot topics, current affairs, upcoming events. I'll share friendly reminders and tidbits from Bruce. Call in live, 702-483-4444 to rant and rave with the wrath from hell, Bruce Riddell. Every Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Hi, this is Sergio Quintero live from Las Vegas, and I'm proud to announce the premiere of Clubhouse Sports Radio every Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on VegasAllNetRadio.com. I will focus on Southern Nevada and Southern California pro and college sports. So if you're a sports fan, this is a place 